Hello, my children. Before we are talking about the numbers, when we count the number in forward and in backward. When we count the number in forward, we count the number from the smallest to the greatest. And when we count the number in backward, we count the number from the greatest to the smallest. Now, let's do this worksheet to practice about the numbers from 1 to 10. In this worksheet, we have to draw a line or we want to join the objects with the numbers. This is the object and this is all the numbers we want to join. Let's count and join to the number. Now here, this is a tennis ball. You have to count and join or match. Let's count. We said before, when we count, you have to draw a small line like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where is number ten? Yes, here. You have to draw a line. Go to number ten. Very good. Now here, it's a cap. How many cap here? Let's count. One, two. Three, four, five, and six. Where is number six? Yes, very good. This is number six. Now, how many ice cream here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where is number eight? Where is number? Yes, very good. This is number eight. Draw a line. Now, here we have stars and banana. Let's count. How many stars? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I'll draw a line to number seven. Now, the last one is banana. How many bananas here? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where is number nine? This one, number nine. I draw a line. Now, here, we draw a line between each number to the matching set of objects. Do you understand how to draw a line? How to count? Good. Now, I erase this and we do another worksheet. In this worksheet, you have to fill the missing number. Missing number means there is no number here. This is a missing number. This is a missing number. And here it's a missing number. Let's count to write the missing number. One, two. What comes after two? What comes after two? Good. After two is three. Now you have to write number three here. What's the next number? Four. Very good. Number four here. Now, after four is five. You can look here on the numbers. Five. After five, six. Very good. What's the next number? What comes after six? Seven. Very good. Seven. Eight. Hmm. Who can tell me what's the next number? Nine, very good. Nine and ten. Now we fill the missing number. Here it's a missing number and you write it. Do you understand? Good. Now, today we are talking about how we can write the number. How we can write the number. We write the number in two ways. We write the number in two ways. Now, we have two ways to write the number. Now, here, I can write the number like this.
What's this number? Four. Very good. This number is digit. And I can write the number in word like this. F O U R. Now we have two ways to write the number. This way is digit and this way is word. Word means you have to write the number in letters. Now this is number four in digit and this is number four in word. Now I show you, I write on the board numbers and I ask you if this number is digit or word. Are you ready? Good. I write here. This is number nine. Very good. This one is digit or word? Good. This is digit. Excellent. What about this number? This is number two. Very good. This one is digit or word? This one is word. T W O. Very good. Now, today you have to know that. We have two ways to write the number. We can write in this way in digit and we can write in this way in word. We have two ways to write the number. Now, look here on the flashcards. This is number 10 in digit and this is number 10 in word. Nine here in digit and nine here in word. Seven digit and seven in word. This is five, digit, and this is five in word. Word means, word means we write the number in letters. F-O-U-R, four. And this one, two, T-W-O. And I can write the number in digit. This one is word. And digit, two. Do you know the difference between digit and word? Do you know the difference between digit and word? Let's do the worksheet to practice all the numbers from 1 to 10. We can write it in digit and word. Are you ready? Good. Now, if you look at this, you find that the number here in words and the number here in digit. Now, you have to match the number from 1 to 5. You have to match the number from 1 to 5. This is number 1. 1 in word. O and E. Now you match it to the digit number. This is digit. Good. The next one is 2. T W O. Where is number 2 in digit here? This one. Now you have to match 2 in word and 2 in digit. Very good. Now, this is number 3. Excellent. 3 T H R Double E. Three. This one is word. And this one is digit. And you have to match together. And four. I have to match four. Digit and word. This is word and this is digit. And what about this? Five. Very good. F I V E. I have to match the digit with word. Now, this number is in word and this number in digit. Do you understand the difference between word and digit? Now, let's do another worksheet.
Now here we have number in digit and we have an object and we have a number in words. Now you have to join the number in digit with the object and the number in word with the object. Are you ready? Yes. Good. Now let's count the objects and then you have to draw a line. Let's count here. Diamond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's number eight? Very good. This is number eight. I have to join number eight. Now where's number eight in word here? This one. Very good. Now I join to number eight. Now I join the object with the digit and I join the object with the word. Let's count this object. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this one is seven digit and this one is seven in word. Do you understand? Now here you have to count the rectangle, triangle, and circle. Now if you count the rectangle here, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one is digit or word. Yes, very good, it's digit. Now I want to go to the word. This is number 10. Excellent. Now can you do this alone? Thank you. Now the next worksheet is we do together the last worksheet. Look at this schedule. Here the number in digit and this is scramble. You mean scramble? Scramble means it's not arrangement. Now you have to arrange the correct word. You have to arrange here the correct word and to write here. Now this one, one in digit and one in word, but it's not good or it's not correct. You have to write the number in word in a correct way. Now, I write the number in a correct way. O, N, E. Now, you have to write the number one. This one is digit and this one is word. And I arrange it or and I write it in a correct way. Two, and this is W, O, T. I have to write in a correct way. T, W, O. Very good. Now, who can tell me what's the next number? Three. Now, I want somebody to write three in a correct way. Now, let's write three in a correct way. T, uh, the next H, R, double E. Very good. Now, what about this number? Six. Very good. I write six in the correct way. S I X. Huh. Last one is ten. Very good. I have to write the ten, number ten in a correct way. Do you understand how to write the number in digit and how to write the number in word? Now this way is word. And this way is digit. Do you know the difference between of the two ways? Good. Now, today we are talking about all the numbers from 1 to 10 in two ways. I can write the number in two ways. I can write the number in two ways from 1 to 10 in a digit and in a word. Thank you and have a nice day.